Cars moving along here at Club Hi-Hat. It's showtime. Thank you. My first guest, you all know, I have known Mickey Rooney for 20 minutes. Uh, I first met Mickey in the early 1950s, and he is one of the major talents. He is more versatile, he has more range as an actor than almost anyone that I know. Uh, he's currently starring, I'm sure, as you know, well, maybe you don't know, in Sugar Babies in Los Angeles, the Pantages Theater. Would you welcome Mickey Rooney? Yeah. to talk to Ed McMahon's chess. Isn't it, though? <laughs> I talk to a lot of people. How are you doing, Mick? You joined the club. I joined the club? <laughs> oh, well, I know what you're talking about. Pardon me, I'm, I'm, on, I'm not laughing because of that. Oh, you because of the marriage, obviously. No, 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 I know, but you're, you're doing a lot of marriage jokes. But you make me look like an amateur knight. I mean... <laughs> when I first married Ava Gardner, I was six feet three. <laughs> Do you have any advice for me at all, It's Mick? just I'm five foot three of gristle. <laughs> Not even fat. Well, nothing. There's nothing left. Obviously. No, but it's all right. I should have called you. My little time. wife and I, we went, you know, I finished Sunday matinee right. at the Pantages. Right. And then we took our plane. We had, a, we had to do it privately right. and went to Philadelphia. You know, my buddy Dan Tabus and I got that hotel there. Yeah. You know, the Rooney Tabus Hotel in yeah. Downingtown. But I got it freezing. Freezing. 19 degrees when I took off Fred this morning at 7 o'clock to get here, and I got back at 3.30 in Van Nuys, and I haven't stopped shaking yet. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to tell you something. I was, I, well, I've been in a stretching machine all afternoon to become 5'3". I was 1 foot 6. Really I was so cold. I look like Billy Barty's stand-in. That's cool. That's my buddy, Billy that's cool. Barty. What do you got? Sure. What do you got there? Well, I know it's a little surprise. You know, I'm always oh. talking about things when I get on your show, particularly. Yeah. I told you about that watermelon drink I had one time, and you laughed. You went, <laughs> a watermelon drink. Did I do that? Yeah, well, I got news for you. You know what? That's what, what I got. Here, listen to me. It's called... <laughs> listen, I want you to just taste Mickey Melon, because America is called? yelling for Mickey Melon. Canfield's <laughs> Mickey Melon. Listen, well, put let, it down. Well, let me read the ingredients. As David Horne says, read those labels. No, but... <laughs> No, it's not a commercial. It's just that I wanted you to taste it because that's really watermelon. That's that's the soda pop. That's the soft drink that's hard to beat. That's rather tasty. Do you like that? No, it's. It... Tell me the truth, John. It has a unique taste. Now, tell. Oh. May I may I pass it over to? Yes. Uncle. Uh... Now just give it a sipski. Oh, well, Ed will drink a swamp. See if you so like it. <laughs> Incidentally, this uh, Mickey Mellon goes with anything. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, try it. If I don't see you again, have a good life. <laughs> Ed once drained the Love Canal. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's all I wanted. Thanks very okay, much thank for you, tasting Mick. it. Thank you. No, because I want some, too. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm Makes gonna you strong and tall. <laughs> Incidentally, they're talking about, and you're, the, the world is filled with catastrophic news on one side, and then we've got all of these caucuses and things that you've been talking about yeah. earlier today. I was going to throw my hat into the ring, mm -hmm. <laughs> but... You threw your hair along with it. <laughs> yes. What the hell? All right, John. Yes, Mike. But look, at, I'll tell you what. They asked me before I started to think about running, they said, what do you think of the Taft-Hartley bill? I said, I think he ought to pay it. <laughs> no, but no, no. And then somebody asked me, I said, well, what do you think of the embargo? Uh -huh. I said, I have every record they ever made. They're from the <laughs> And listen. Yes. I'll play straight. If I were ever to have become the president of these great United States. Yes. With a tremendous promise and the opportunities that are yet afforded out there across in the front of the people. Yes. Across our great nation. Right. People that don't know about it. Right. There's one thing that I would do adamantly, and that is cut out all gambling. 
There would be no more Atlantic City, no more Vegas, Reno, right. no more Hollywood Park or Santa right. Anita. Right. And I'll lay eight to five that before the night was over. <laughs> You've been working on that burlesque show too long. We'll be right back here. What the hey? Don't go away. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They are. They're sensational. Look, I know you have to leave soon because you are, as I said, uh, doing sugar babies here in Los Angeles, I'll which you did in New York. In, in a few minutes, yes. You've been doing this five, five years? Five years, yes, right. with Ann Miller. And gosh, we, we have more fun, and the audiences are just like our families. A lot of yeah. people have asked me, they say, well, do you ever get nervous before you go out? And, then, and it's like you, John. Of yeah. course you don't get nervous. You've done it over and over again. And the people on the yeah. airwaves, as well as the people in the studio, become your family. Yeah. They're your friends. You're not out here. And I can hardly wait to get yeah. to the theater. You have a very demanding show. Like it's a physical show. Oh, big a lot deal. Of dancing and burlesque and, and broad jokes and everything. I know, but... It, but there, Have you ever missed a show in five? Never missed a show in five years. No, that's but I'm going, to, I'm going to miss it for three days. Uh, that's why I'm growing the, the, the gray stuff. I was you earlier. I'm doing a, a, a special uh, for this network uh, for Christmas time called It Came Upon a Midnight. Uh, you going to play Santa? No. Oh, I thought that. Uh, written by two, by Mr. Skank and Cardia, the gentleman who did Shogun, uh -huh. of all things, and it's a Christmas story. Christmas. And it'll be on around Christmas time, and, and I'm delighted to do that. But, you know, in all seriousness, we've, I want to thank you very much for having uh, let me fool around with my soft drink. Well, what are you talking about? And this and that, because a lot of people, you know, there's so many great actors that you have on, like Bobby Blake, who I right. love very, very much. And, of course, people don't realize how great Peter O'Toole is and, and how great James Mason and all of these wonderful people Lawrence are Olivier. in our business. Lawrence Olivier. Lawrence Olivier. Oh, the, the list goes on and on. Al Pacino. Marty Allen. Uh, made, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was just Marty funny. is wonderful. He is. Way, yes, but we're, we're all dramatic. And you know the funny thing about it is, I'll bet you, I'll bet you yourself, as comedic as you try and be, I bet you could be one heck of a great dramatic actor. Oh, that this. Because, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Oh, I believe that this so too, too solid flesh should resolve itself no, into a... No, you see, you see, right away you start to get comedic again. You start to I thought that was good. I thought that was no, good. No, no, you were getting laughs with to yourself. Be, well, I was supposed to but be the good. reason that I believe that without any, any, uh, any reason whatsoever that you couldn't be, inequivocably, uh, that you could not be the, one of the best Thank in the dramatic you. field well, is that nice. your past five or six shows have been... What I would call very dramatic. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and, uh, How do you in see fact, me? What? There have been tears. I've seen tears in John's eyes. What uh, what role do you see me as as a dramatic actor? Uh, uh, well, I, I, I'll not, tell you what. I'm not trained. You I'm, not, I'm not, as they say, of the theater. They have listen. I'm they have the a tremendous range in pictures and television today. Mm. It's either a doctor or the patient. <laughs> hey, doctor, that's, you that's right. You, that's a, no, you can be. No, I, I'll tell you how I see you very quickly. I see you doing something completely left field. <laughs> what, baseball picture? No. <laughs> doing something that no one would think you could do. Uh, I I'll, now I'm going to throw this out just very quickly. Why not, Mick? I'd love to see you play a very serious. Killer. <laughs> no, not without any of the, the, the not with any of the things or the shrugs. Mm. And, no, I mean, but but done. Mm. Seriousness. But Law's you, dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're 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 doing fine, John. You see. <laughs> no, but look, at, I want to thank you for letting me be here and listen to this great. Great orchestra that Doc has, and of course seeing my old buddy again. One question for you, you got because I know you have people on the show. You're taking this show to Japan, Sugar Babies. How are you going to play it in Japan? Talking about Osaka and and Tokyo for four weeks, and then Australia. But they don't understand. Do they speak English? Uh, well, of course. Now leave it to the the the, the, the great technicalities of the Japanese people. Uh, they have a situation, a, a a company that I won't mention at this time. 
but they put into their ears like you would on the airplanes listening to music. The earphones. And, but, but get a load of this. This is frightening. Immediately upon reading a line, I don't, I don't mean two seconds later. Simultaneous, Immediately, simultaneous. simultaneously, it comes back in Japanese to the audience. That's what I should have had during the monologue tonight. <laughs> it's been nice. Thank you, Mickey. Moss Daddy. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I find it difficult to stay serious. I think he John, I've never done this before in my life as I walked up, but my lovely wife is in the hospital with pneumonia. Oh, I didn't know and that. And I gotta say, I love you, honey. And for I know sure. you're gonna be just fantastic. That's for sure. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope she's better. All right. Thank I you, Nick. Just... Right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.